This is the High Atlas Mountains. Mila drove us here, just kidding. about just under 9,000 feet. The top of the High Atlas goes a bit taller. I think it's like 12 or 13,000 feet. But I'm not sure the mountain pass goes that high, but we are possibly close to as high as we're gonna get. This is really cool, really amazing. There are basically three mountain ranges in Morocco. There's the Middle Atlas, which we passed when we were at the Cedar Forest. And then there's the High Atlas. It's just south of it. There's a valley in between. And because the Middle Atlas, the north side of it, gets all the precipitation, so it's really green north of it. And by the time it gets to the High Atlas, it looks like this. Pretty much desert, barren rocks. It's also really high, so there's hardly any trees. And then there's the Anti Atlas, which is to the southwest of the high atlas we haven't been there yet but check this out this is really really amazing minerals in the, in the land we came through that road we actually came from over there earlier today we left from over there and we drove through this valley and then came in between these hills on this road and now we're here Drive up that way out of here. Really beautiful, right? Breathtakingly beautiful. All right, we keep driving. drove around the top of the uh, where the two roads the two gorge roads meet at the little village of Agudal here in the high Atlas mountains it was a little crazy driving through there because you drive up and it's a paved road but a little dilapidated and then as you come into the village it's dirt and then you go through the entire village of dirt roads and there's a bunch of villagers just sitting around hanging out kids running around and running up to your car starts yelling starts asking for stuff and these two kids on their bikes you know starts to ride ahead of us and waving us to go follow them but it was the road we're going i think they were hoping that that they could show us the way out through the village and then maybe we'd give them a few things but you know i'm just following my gps and that actually just took me right through to the road that we need to go anyways this is the road that'll take us down to Dade's Gorge. It's dirt. I don't know how far it stays dirt before it gets paved. Maybe the whole way, maybe just part of the way, but this will take us down back to the road where we went up on Todra River into Todra Gorge. So it could be 22 miles of this, I don't know. But it's supposed to be a really beautiful drive, so I'm looking forward to that. But we're just stopped here for a bit. They have a cell tower here, so we're getting some internet. We're gonna eat some lunch, just on the side of the road. Not a lot of cars driving by. Understandable, given these conditions. But we're gonna go for it. We're gonna go down this road. There was a few places back here where, uh, where the the road was a little bit bumpy and I think 
we were probably just at the edge of being too long for the clearance. Uh, I don't think we scraped or anything, but a car with less clearance probably would not have made it. We'll see where this road takes us. Oh, we stopped here just a couple miles down the road. We saw this cool little restaurant slash tea hut in the middle of nowhere that reminded us a lot of uh, Coco's Corner in Baja. So we decided to stop and get a get a tea, take a little break. It's just beautiful here. So much like the deserts of Arizona, Utah. And uh, this dirt road, I guess, persists for another 15, 20 miles or so, and then it goes back to asphalt. So this is uh, probably one of the coolest drives we've done in a while. These little mud huts here. I wonder if people actually use it. When we decided to drive up to this town up here, Agadol, the point was that we wanted to see Todra Gorge all the way up to the top of the Atlas Mountain, the High Atlas. And then we figure, oh yeah, we can just come back down, go the other way and see Dade's Gorge. It's a real convenient way without having to double back on our, on our route. But we did not realize that it was this dirt road for this long. So we're kind of committed. There's not a different road. This is basically it. I guess the difference between us and many other overlanders is that you, people will seek out roads like this to drive, but the places we go to tend to put us on these roads. And this is actually the best option, the best road, given our situation, given our location. So we're driving this road and we come across places like this, which is really cool. Also makes me glad that we have the vehicle that we do. You don't really need four wheel drive here, but having higher clearance is definitely helpful. Then having a four wheel drive just in case as an insurance policy. Cookies, sunflower seeds, peanuts. You guys want tea? Can I sugar cube in it? Oh wow. Pink. Oh. <laughs> her favorite color. Let's <laughs> have a clue question with you. This is one for you. Try it this is it you. So when is it good? <laughs> uh, for for your uh, <laughs> For no, your, what do you for like, you, Luca? Man, which is yours? Come on. You're another man. sister. No, you don't like yeah. you. Yeah. She can come. <laughs> yeah. She'll come. You, what do you want to choose? I don't want to choose one. Huh? Huh? Okay. Choose one. Choose? Choose? Pick choose? one for mama. For mama. Choose one for mm -hmm. your mom. Yeah. Okay. As a gift for mama. That one. That one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you can give it to her. We'll wait for her to come. Wait. <laughs> wait. <laughs> So when you look at this ring, you will remember. Yeah, we'll remember. Yeah. <laughs> when you we we'll remember this experience with you yeah. guys. When you finish your college, keep it. <laughs> this is how it looks in the summer. In the spring? Yeah. It's wow, it's very green. 
Yes, it was kind of for uh, hiking. competition for hiking. of running. Yeah. yeah. And when? What time of the year? This is like. Yes. For two, for two, for two days. days. Yeah. For two days. Yeah. 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 Twenty April. Oh. Uh, for like one month from now. Yeah. For one month. From one and a half month from now. Oh. This is the Look how green it is in the in April. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. It's a small gift. Thank you. You're Abdul. 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 Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. And your name? Zakaria. Zakaria. Zaki. Zaki. Okay. You are almost. And your name? Lassen. Lassen. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Nice to meet you too. Well, I'm very happy we stopped yeah, and had, yeah. a, ha, had a tea here. Yeah. Talk to you, to stay here with yeah, you. It's a very special memory. Yeah. 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 We stopped just for tea and we made some new friends. They're from this village. They had two young kids that go to university in Meknes. The one's learning English. So we got to learn a lot about their village, the area, the Berber tradition. They even told us about like a legend that has to do with the two lakes that are north of here. Really good stop. And they told us we have 30 kilometers to go before it turns to pavement. Ah. thousand five hundred and sixty feet is where we are exactly right there this may be the highest pass we will drive in Morocco but there's a chance we'll drive over another pass but look at that it is awesome air is pretty thin pretty uh it's actually a pretty good dirt road to get here. Not any place where I felt like it was dangerous for the van. But just look at this. Super pokey. Okay, these plants are pokey. Don't step on them. Ooh. We probably got another like, I don't know, 10 to 12 miles of dirt road like this before we uh, get to the pavement. But at least uh, no more climbing. I don't know if that's good or bad.
we're at about 9,300 feet or so. I don't know exactly the altitude of where this spot is because we climbed up a bit from the road. We're parked on the other side of the road. Nice overnight spot with just amazing view. Crazy view, look at this. The road here was not perfect, but it was not bad either. There weren't any places where we felt like it was really narrow. There was some places where there was a drop off, but most of it was kind of a slopey side of a hill with the road carved in just to the side of a foothill. So it wasn't bad, but it is long though. We drove probably for an hour and a half. I think we got another 30, 45 minutes to go before we get to the paved part. But we wanted to stay here. We wanted some quietness. I think we're getting it here. It's windy a little bit, so we pointed the back of the van into the wind so we wouldn't get the wind on the side that would rock the van back and forth all night. Probably would have been better if we pointed the nose into the wind, but that meant we wouldn't get view of this, this gorge. It looks like Southern Utah. It looks like goosenecks, but Southern Utah is not this tall, obviously. We're pretty high altitude. And I don't think we're gonna get really, really any altitude sickness because we came from like, I don't know, four or 5,000 feet. So we had three days to kind of get acclimated to that level. And then we just climbed another 5,000 feet today. So it wasn't too bad. We left our friends Alex and Verena this morning at the last campground. And today we were both coming around to this part and his van's not a 4x4 and doesn't have the high clearance. So as I'm driving through this road, I was worried that uh, maybe he wouldn't make it. But he did. He arrived about an hour and a half, two hours later. So we're happy. We're happy to be at this place. Hi, Atlas. We could climb higher, but we're not going to. We totally could do it. You want to keep trying? A little bit more. A little bit. We'll just keep taking breaks and see how high we go. Okay. I'm having a little bit of trouble breathing. <laughs> we made it a little bit higher. <laughs> yeah. We're not going to make it to the top, but I'm happy with this view. If we try to go to the top, we have to take a bunch of breaks and then the sun's going to set and then we'll be coming down this thing in the dark, which would be a bad idea. A lot of pokey plants. So today was awesome. I think you would think this is the highlight, which it is, but another highlight is stopping at the Moroccan tea house and had tea and hung out with the owner and a couple of college kids that are from the village that we passed through and just had an amazing chat with them. Super warm people, super nice people. It was a big platter of cookies and peanuts and sunflower seeds, big kettle of tea with sugar cubes and when we paid, he just said, pay whatever you want. And it felt like this place that we go to in Mexico, in Baja, when you drive down the Gulf of California side, past San Felipe, down to Gonzaga Bay, and then you keep going, and it connects back up with the main road that's from the Pacific side. And there's a spot called Coco's Corner. It's on a dirt road in the middle of nowhere, and there's just a guy named Coco there selling beers. It's a little bit more risque there. He's got dollar bills and panties hanging all, all over the all over the bar. And it's just beers. And he's got, I think he lost both of his legs to diabetes maybe. So he's in a wheelchair. But it's famous, it's Coco's Corner. But we feel like we went to the Coco's Corner of Morocco today. <sighs> Tomorrow we're gonna drive the rest of the way. Tomorrow's Dabe's Gorge. 
But that's it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. We're gonna stay here for a little bit longer and head back down for dinner. I'll see you guys in the next one.